So hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the New Moon in Leo Courageous Readings. Um, for those of you not familiar with the secret code name events, uh, they are purchased by individuals. Each of the secret code names is purchased by individuals via the link in my Etsy shop below. Um, and once they purchase them, I reach out to them via Etsy and say, hey, I got you. Your secret code name is fill in the blank, right? So that they know what secret code name is theirs. It's their personal reading. The beauty of these secret code names is that Anybody can resonate to one in divine time whenever it's meant to cross your path. There's most likely a message in there for you. All right. So even if it's not your personal purchased reading, um, if this message has crossed you and you were drawn to it, there's most likely a message in here. All right. These ones today, I am using my Wisdom of the Oracle cards. I'm using my Shaman Dream Oracle cards. And I'm using my Power of Love cards. All right. With that said, we are going to get started. All right, so this is Secret Code Name Mumford, and we are going to get right into it. All right, so Secret Code Name Mumford, and those who would be drawn to it in divine time, what do they need to be the most courageous through, right? Because new moons were all about manifestation, and Leo was about courage and authenticity. So where are we manifesting our greatest courage, right? And our authentic light for secret code name Mumford. Okay. You got a leg up on the bottom. An unfinished symphony on top. Oh, man. So you know something's not done. You know something's not over with. <laughs> Unfinished symphony, you are aware. You are aware you got unfinished business with someone. But right now you're getting a leg up from spirit and a much needed break. All right, with time for a nap underneath of that. With loyal hearts, people who are loyal to you and your highest good and soul, right? So you might be in the process of accepting that you're moving away from something or someone, um, but knowing that this person's going to re-enter your life at some point, right? It's not finished yet. You're in the middle of a break or an energetic reset, right? Or your energy is rising and, and healing. And so they are being given time and opportunity to catch up. Um, down here we have peace. Why? Into the sea. All right. Peace. Why? Into the sea. You got ones, twos, threes, and fours, and a seven. Okay, well, two sevens because 34 adds up to seven. Right. So we got ones, twos, threes, fours, and two sevens. This is about knowing that spirit is with you so that you can develop energetically in peace that you are safe in the spiritual bubble that spirit the universe god source whatever you want to call it has you in that you're safe in your own energetic bubble and that you are finding yourself with time to discover the whys right via the universal laws because anytime you see a book in this deck it has to do with the universal laws the 12 universal laws right that's where we get the law of oneness the law of vibration the law of gender the law of relativity the law of attraction right the laws the 12 laws of the universe and trusting 
trusting where spirit's taking you to help you understand. Trust spirit knows where you're going, even if you don't. Because if you look at to the sea, the binocular, she's not using them to look behind. And the direction is forward and she knows and trusts that. So she's just letting the boat go forward. She's not over here looking at the direction, seeing how it's changing. She's just in her own peaceful world. You know, she's meditating and staying very aware of self. And just letting spirit take her wherever it needs to take her and it's forward. This is about going with the flow. And surrendering to the present moment because you know it's not done. But the break or the time apart from whatever or whoever it is, is just needed. It's just needed right now. Because you need a break from whatever this energy is. You need to be around loyal hearts who've got your back. Who are more positively aligned mirrors for you. On a real note. Because wherever you're at right now, a part of you feels a little bit like a clown. A little bit like a joke. Like, this life is a joke, this relationship or dynamic is a joke, or this situation is a fucking joke. Like, whatever it is, it's a joke. And you know it ain't over. You know you haven't reached the punchline of the joke yet. But you're gonna go find the time that you need to understand essentially the joke to understand the joke and why it's not a joke but it's more like a like a riddle right it's more like a riddle and you gotta solve it I think um Spirit might be pulling a few strings for you. Like if it were too hard to do it the way that you initially planned on doing it, like if you're, let's just say it's a relationship with someone, right? Whether it's romantic or otherwise. And the relationship has become very difficult. It's not that you couldn't get to where the outcome or goal is with this person doing it your way, but Spirit's like, I could pull a couple strings and make it so much easier. You know what I mean? Like, the lesson that would take this person, like, 20 years to fucking learn with you. Like, maybe I can do it in a few. Spirit's pulling a couple strings to just make it less complicated. To clean it up a little bit faster. You know what I mean? Helping you with your energy and allowing them to manifest whatever they need to manifest in their energy. What's the guidance, please, spirit? For secret code name Mumford. And I definitely did hear like Mumford and Sons in my head. So I don't know if you've got a Mumford and Sons song that you instantly think of when I say their name, the band, but Mumford was definitely like Mumford and Sons. Unless Mumford resonates with you in a different way gathering around the power of community and dragon's horde protecting the future this leg up that spirit's giving you this break with loyal hearts that's your gathering that's the community gathering right and it's because you're protecting your future it's an unfinished symphony it's the, it's protecting the future let me read some of this for you number 26 first yeah gathering around the power of community being safe and secure and allowing help 
There are times when you need positive reinforcement from others. Perhaps your journey has made you tired just before reaching the proverbial finish line where your friends await to cheer your arrival. Know this, you are not alone regardless of whether you think you are or not. People gather around to help with your next step as you bring it forth from the cosmos into the beauty of life. There has never been another you before and you have a unique relationship with your friends, family, communities, and those who would gather to help you in the unseen realms. Now is the time to allow assistance from others. Just ask for it and trust that you will receive it. You are safe and secure right now in this moment, truly supported in your beautiful, amazing, complicated life. You are heard by angels, witnessed by the divine, and loved, yes, loved, now and always by life itself. Whatever your query, you will find the help you need to achieve what you desire, and you will not have to do this alone. Count on it. So twice now, right? Twice now, Spirit has said that you will get help when, where you need it. So please don't feel alone because that's being reiterated. All right, you're not alone. Even if you think you are, you're, you're totally not. Like, please allow the help that you need to come in and support you. All right, because you have it and you have it for a reason. It's there for a reason. It's because you can use it, right? So use it. Spirit doesn't give, you know, little miracles like that. To just be like oh no spirit it's okay i don't need the miracle it's fine i was waiting for a bigger one so that's that's fine no <laughs> sorry yeah i was waiting on a bigger miracle so you know i'll just let this one pass <laughs> like spirit's like excuse me <laughs> do you know what strings i had to pull to make this little miracle happen right so the dragon sword protecting the future legacy and true riches all right it says, in the dragon's hoard, jewels and precious objects scatter the ground, while ancient scrolls inscribed with the wisdom teachings lie within reach. This is a rich opportunity, and you can fill your satchel with the treasures you like best. Take the gifts offered you and dedicate them to your well-being of all, beginning with your own. Be but beware, all that glitters is not gold. Select the precious treasures that will further your spiritual growth and avoid the shiny objects that are empty of real value. Know that the hoard does not belong to you. It belongs to our grandchildren. What is the inheritance that you wish to leave for tomorrow? What seeds are you planting that you will harvest in your old age when you are weary? What seeds will bear fruit after you are no longer here? The dragons guards the dragon guards the legacy of the future. All who come empty-handed or to fill only their own pockets with gold lie in a dusty heap of bones. You have been allowed entrance by virtue of your kindness or your spiritual practice or sheer luck. So consider as well that your present that your present this moment is the future of the dragon. You may be the one we have all been waiting for. So do not hesitate to take what quest has been reserved for you since the beginning of time. This is the time to be bold. Do not delay or overthink. Remember to bring an offering for the dragon, lest it believe you are its lunch. A simple prayer will do, right? The dragon is a big metaphor it's a big metaphor, you know, there's a whole lot of abundance to be had in life, right? This life experience is essentially the dragon's horde and the dragon or the Ouroboros or life, right? The, the, the spirit, God, universe, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's the dragon. This life experience is the dragon's horde. And there are some things in this life that hold true value and some shiny things that just don't fucking matter and they don't hold real value. They're cool to look at for a moment, but there's no real value there and you put it back into the hoard. Every once in a while, you're rooting through all of the crystals and you find a diamond. You know? It's that kind of energy. If you can look at the metaphor of it, what truly has value? A home or one that's paid off? 
because the home that's paid off comes with no worry or at least minimal worry for your grandchildren or your, your children or your grandchildren. Is it valuable to your grandchildren to have a loving, compassionate, nurturing grandmother, right, who prioritizes them and looks forward to seeing them or someone who is crabby and can't fucking stand the kids and da 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 and they, they're always under her feet and you know what I mean? Like, what has value? What has value? That's what this is about. And it's about establishing value. You're learning the whys, why things happen the way they do. And it's per universal law. Like attracts like, that energy, if your vibration fucking sucks, if your thoughts suck, if you're constantly acting out of fear or acting out of insecurity, or you're constantly trying to protect yourself, you know, because there's things out there that are trying to hurt you or they're gonna hurt you no matter what they are, they're gonna hurt you. And it's like, if you've got that vibration that everything and everyone is gonna hurt you, then everything and everyone is going to hurt you because you're gonna be protecting yourself from nothing and pushing people away. Like attracts like. If your energy is shit, you, you get shit. You know, so this time apart from whatever or whoever it is, right, that you're very aware whether you're not away from them yet or you are away from them already, no matter what the case is, whether you're literally taking time apart and choosing it as you catch this reading or someone's on your mind and you've already taken a break from this person, but you know it ain't fucking over. Even if you fucking can't stand their fucking name, <laughs> you know, like, even if you can't fucking stand them right now, like a part of you knows it's not fucking over and there's a reason. Right now, this is what you're learning. You caught this message right now, this is what you're learning, the why. Why things manifest the way they do, and you're with people who are helping you because they are loyal to you and soul. They're helping you with this time, this floating forward time. Because what would have taken you 20 years to learn, you're learning it in just a few, right? Spirit didn't want you to suffer it out in ignorance, not paying attention to your own energy for 20 years. Spirit sees the value of you. Spirit sees the value of you. And so now it's time for you to see the value of you and what is truly valuable to you. Long-term vision. What is truly valuable? What legacy, what legacy do you want to leave behind for your kids and your grandkids? What's your legacy? What's the story? What's the memory? What did you create for them? What did you create with your actions and your choices and the connections that you hold close for them? Who's the best fit for them in their life, right? This is where you find what is truly valuable. For your grandkids. For your grandkids. Who's going to be around? Who's going to be around for them? What's going to be available for them? What are you leaving behind? That's what this is. This is that's what this is. This is this is what is going on, right? For you to acknowledge. What do you need to remember? Secret code name Mumford. No, that's it. You have vision. I just called it right. Long term vision. Vision. Remember vision. Remember, no matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. There is a reason why you're apart from whoever you're apart from right now. And it's in your highest good. It's in their highest good. There is a reason why spirit is giving you a leg up. It is literally shortcutting things for you. 
Spirit is shortcutting healing for you. And whoever you have unfinished business with, Spirit's given you a shortcut. It's time apart, but it's, it's a shortcut in the healing. Because value needs to be established. Seeing the value in someone else needs to be established. Seeing the value of yourself to another person needs to be established. The vision. What is truly valuable and what is not. What parts of me as a person are truly valuable and what parts are not. Right? Having that conversation of yourself. What parts of me are truly valuable and what parts are not. What parts of me are truly beautiful that they're like a diamond they're beautiful and and unfortunately too rare in this world and what parts of me are no better than anybody else who's hurt me before how can i let those parts of me go so that i can increase my value How can I create beautiful facets from the best of me, right? Letting go of anything that's not serving my most beautiful self, my most valuable self. You know, it's no different with gems. You know, a gem, you can have a huge rock, you know, but there's all kinds of cracks and imperfections and whatever. But if you start cutting it down and cutting it down and cutting it down and removing a little bit more and removing a little bit more, it might be a smaller gem, but bigger isn't always better. <laughs> sometimes bigger is cracked and flawed. But sometimes if you get rid of all the imperfect parts, what you've got left is something truly valuable because it's beautiful in its own perfection. You've cut yourself in such a way, you've cut yourself down in such a way that what's been cut away is what was imperfect, what's been cut away is what was flawed, what's been cut away is what's been cracked and broken. You've cut those parts away. And all that's left is a very beautiful, whole, solid self people google over oogle over and they're mesmerized by you know what i mean so be really grateful for who is in your life and the break that you have because this is this is time for you to truly take advantage of understanding Understanding the value of what you're creating in your future, what you want in your future. 2222 on my timer. <laughs> so, that said, thank you, Secret Code Name Mumford, for being a part of this event and allowing your healing to serve as a healing message for others as well, because we're all connected. And whoever needed to hear this in divine time, they got to receive this healing because of you. So, thank you. Thank you for being a part of this. My love and gratitude is always here for you. Until next time. Take care.